All right, have a passionate day everyone this is again the online teacher blog and we have another short blog video which is entitled how to pass the versan exam as call center agent aspirant or applicant with explanation guide description reminders and tips all right guys so before we continue to our amazing topic of the day please don't forget to click the notification bell icon to be more updated in our youtube channel as well as the like share and subscribe button let's explain first the version so what is version version is the automated language text that is issued to test the applicant's speech intelligently it measures score language aspects including comprehension sentence mastery vocabulary fluency and pronunciation to pass the versant exam you need to familiarize and master the six parts of versant because the exam is divided into six parts where the applicant will have to perform different tasks a reading b repeat c questions d sentence builds e storytelling f open questions let me guide you the minutes of duration so we have the duration is from 15 to 17 minutes now let's discuss the part task description or questions in reading there are eight questions so in part a we have test and that is reading the description of reading is measures pronunciation and intonations versant will flash sentences on the screen which the applicant will have to read loud and clear as instructed remember to speak naturally and not to sound too stiff enunciate words properly especially words starting with th ph f and v so there are eight questions for reading now let's proceed to letter b in repeat there are 16 questions so in part b we have task and that is repeat the description of repeat is to measures listening skills fluency and a pronunciation versant will say a sentence and the applicant will have to listen and repeat the sentence exactly or in verbatim length of sentences will increase as the assist assessment progresses for missed sentences try to remember and repeat what was heard even the last two to three sentences at least do not pause too long and make sure not to skip an items so there are 16 questions in repeat now let's proceed to questions in questions there are 24 questions so in part c the task is what we call questions and the description of these questions is to measure ability to identify items based in context and vocabulary versant will ask common sense based questions answerable by yes or no one-liners or exact answers some questions have options some don't do not take too long to answer because assessment will automatically skip to the next questions and will and will result to a missed point questions are 24 for the test questions right so let's move now to letter d in sentence bills there are how many questions 10 questions so the part d 
in the test for part D is sentence build. The description of the sentence build is measure understanding of possible meanings and phrases in sentence. Versant will provide three short phrases in random order and test is to rearrange the phrases in order to make a sentence that can be measured. And there are how many questions? There are 10 questions. Now let's proceed to letter E. In storytelling, there are three questions. So in part E, the test is storytelling. The description for the storytelling is to measure fluency and ability to listen and understand. Versant will provide three brief questions. Uh, I mean, three brief stories usually composed of three to six sentences with 90 to i mean 60 to 90 words task is to be able to retell the story in english remember to mentally note the sequence of the story like situation character setting actions and ending retell as much as you can So in letter F, in open questions, there are two questions. Part F, we have test the open questions. The description of open questions is measures, fluency, ability to explain, and sentence mastery. Versant will provide two questions, and each question will be spoken twice. Task is to provide thoughts and compose on sentence and ideas about questions asked. Remember to maximize the time of 40 seconds provided to respond if unfamiliar about the topic. Make sure to still provide an answer for as long as it is within the context. And there are two questions. So we have here the reminders and tips to the verse and test takers. Number one, once the assessment is started, it can't be paused. The TIN or test identification number you will be provided is only good for one time use. Number two, listen to the tips and reminders which will be provided prior to taking the exam. Number three, make sure to follow instructions. Four, speak in a well modulated tone of voice do not yell and do not whisper your answers number five mind your pacing make sure not to speak too fast or too slow six do not leave an item unanswered seven maximize the time given for you to respond and most of all number eight no cheating Writing materials are not allowed during the assessment. No browsing on searching or searching for answers in the internet. Please note that your answers are being recorded and the recruiters listen to your recordings to determine if you have cheated in the exam. All right, so thank you so much for watching to our youtube channel which is the online teacher blog so i'm very happy that you watch our short blog video again which entitled how to pass the versant exam as call center agent aspirant or applicant with explanation guide description reminders and tips to the lion from the tribe of judah jesus christ be all the adoration honor glory and praise until next time only here in our channel bye god bless